Hey everyone, this is Greg with Seven Lights Nutrition, and I wanted to make this short video to kind of give my um, audience an update about what's been going on with our business for the last year. Um, I've told some people that call in on the phone, uh, but I haven't really gone out in a, in a big way and made a broadcast on it. And there's a lot that I can say, so I, I'm not going to be able to get into everything in this short video. But what I wanted to share is that um, last year in October, I went to the doctor because I had a lump that was under my right armpit and um, then they couldn't figure out what it was. So they sent me off to get a biopsy on it. And when the results came back in November of 2019, uh, it came back as metastatic melanoma. Now, if you could tell, I've got light skin, um, I've got light eyes, and I have had some nasty sunburns growing up. I'm 51 years old. So I've been torched. I live in Florida. I've had a number of years here where I've gotten burned. I grew up in upstate New York. I got burned when I was a kid really bad. And I've had a family history of some of these things going on on my mom's side of the family. So um, I had a lot of things that kind of went against me. Even though I'm, I'm in the supplement business, I'm into health and nutrition. I've been my whole life into all of this. Uh, it was a complete shocker to me as well. So I really was in a life and death struggle um, and here it is today, it's January 22nd, 2021. Um, I have gone through a whole uh, rigmarole of things that started right at the end of 2019 and all through 2020 for the most part. Uh, but the good news is, um, as I sit here in front of you today in this camera, my diagnosis is clear. I've had three scans since they removed this tumor back in April and all of those results show uh, no metastatic melanoma that's that's showing anywhere in my body. So praise the Lord. Thank God for that. Um, it was really an ordeal. I thought that I could beat this thing naturally. I took everything under the sun. I was taking a lot of nutritional supplements through our business. I talked to cutting edge researchers in the health field that have had success beating cancer. I took all of these products. I think the good thing that happened was that the tumor never ended up spreading anywhere. It was just isolated to the right armpit, but they did a, a brain MRI scan colonoscopy, um, a chest x-ray, they did blood work, they did everything that you can tell what's going on, and it was only under the right armpit. So uh, I'm going to start sh making some more videos to share some of the things that I went through. Um, so what they wanted to do was immunotherapy, and if anybody's familiar with immunotherapy, it sounds natural because of the name immuno, but it's still involved with um, two drugs. Uh, and they said, listen, we're, we want to start January 8th. They wanted to do treatments all of 2020. They wanted to do them every three weeks. They wanted to use Opdivo and Yervoy as these two immunotherapy drugs. Now, if you look up any research on these two drugs, because they're pretty common with a lot of melanoma cancers today, uh, when you take the two of them and put them together, they claim that the survival rates are much higher. So they wanted to do the two together for four treatments. Then after the fourth treatment, they wanted to just drop the Yervoy and stick with Opdivo um, for the rest of 2020. So I started January 8th and after my third round, which was in February, I got a call from the uh, cancer doctor I was going to. And he, he told me to come in with my wife. We went in there and we talked to him and he said that um, all of the tests that they're running on my blood are showing that my liver enzymes went through the roof. And to the point where he actually said he thought I was in immunotherapy induced liver failure. So here I am battling um, a pretty dangerous, deadly diagnosis with metastatic melanoma. And then the treatments, third treatment in, all of a sudden they think my liver is gone. They sent me across the street to a liver specialist. I sat down, I chatted with these guys and the doctor said, listen, this, this looks bad. The numbers are really high, but I've seen numbers like this before. And I don't think you're in liver failure. So they put me on a high dose of prednisone, which counteracts the immunotherapy drugs and helps to kind of calm things down. It took about four months to get there. The only good thing that happened with all of it is that um, after, the, uh, after the third treatment, I did see uh, and can tell that the tumor that was there, which was probably about the size of an egg, went down somewhat in size. Um, not substantially, but it did go down enough to know that there was something that had happened. Um, so prior to ever starting the treatments in December, I went to a surgeon to, to look at the situation and the, the surgeon 
was concerned that the tumor size was too big and it was wrapped around nerve tissue and other things. And he said that he couldn't guarantee that I wouldn't have a lifelong disability uh, because of taking that tumor out. So that's why I didn't initially go for a surgery. Um, and then after this all happened and it shrunk a little bit, I went to go see the surgeon again in April of 2020. And the cancer doctor told him, listen, if that thing shrunk, take it out because they knew I didn't have any other treatment options at that point. And when they took it out, they told me to come back about five days later when I did the test came back and said no viable evidence of metastatic melanoma detected. So I am so thankful, praising God every day that I'm alive on this earth is a huge blessing. And like I said, the last three tests have been clear. They don't have anything on that that is showing. So does that mean I can do nothing and just go back to normal? Not totally. In the health industry, I have upped all of my health protocols. Everything that I take supplement wise, I'm taking more of. Um, I'm super strict on what I eat. I don't drink any alcohol. Um, I've really taken super charge of my life to try to change everything because this is really something you have to stick to uh, for the rest of your life. It's a very dangerous form of cancer melanoma, especially metastatic melanoma that's spread uh, and you got a big tumor. Um, thank God that it's it's gone and the results have been clear. I still have to get scanned. Now he changed it to every six months because the three tests were done every three months and nothing was showing up. Uh, and he said that, you know, I'm exposed to some radiation with some of those tests. So he felt with everything that was going on, I can put it off for six months. So my next test is in April. Anyway, so that's all I really want to tell my audience is kind of what happened with that situation and where I'm at today. It really did mess me up with work. A lot of people that followed me with, with this business, you know, wondering why they haven't heard a lot from me, why I haven't made a bunch of videos. Uh, and that's really what's happened. I was totally consumed and focused on my own health. And of course, you know, Corona happened at the, si at the same time, almost as everything else. So uh, it's just been a really, you know, crazy 2020, lots of trials, but also huge major blessings simultaneously. So I have a lot to be thankful for. I would like to make some more videos to get into some of the different protocols that I did do naturally and am still doing and will keep doing uh, for the rest of my life. I also want to say if anybody um, is going through a similar event, um, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to talk to somebody about it because I know what you're thinking. I know what you're going through. You listen, when you're facing a diagnosis of a stage four cancer and you're thinking, man, is, am I going to be gone? Is this the end of me? Um, it's scary, especially when you have a family and children and everything else, a business, all of it can really freak people out. And, uh, you know, I've always had for the last almost 30 years, a real good, close relationship with the Lord. Um, this made me get into uh, some things even more detailed, which I'm going to share in some other videos as well. So anyway, just want to at least let you know what was happening. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Thank you for being a loyal, faithful customer of ours over the years, and you'll be hearing a lot more from me in future videos. Thank you.